Let's break it. I know. I'm going to go out and have a look. Think it's true a bit longer. What's this one down anyway? It's a mess to me. Boy, it's just not to ask me any questions. Go on, man. Wake up, friend. Hey? We've all about giving up the ghost now, didn't we? Let's see another rant. Time for your morning bath, my lord. Well, this rate, I don't think he's going to last much longer. <laughs> Come on now, just a few more steps. Yeah, not so hard, was it? Here we go again. You about ready? These things take time. Put him back here.
Up. All right, mate. Not a word. Inside. Close them. Let's just talk this through, shall we? You're him, aren't you? The convict everyone's talking about. There's only one way out of here. Walking dead, that's where you are. You're gonna wish you never left those catacombs. Such a mouth. Fair enough. Fair enough, it's your funeral, not mine. Monsieur, my next shot will not be a warning. Surrender yourself! Raise your hands now! Raise your hands! Hands up! Gray! Don't do this! I said surrender!
Hands on your head! You have betrayed our order! No one may escape the penalty! You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Galahad! This is command. I read you, Percival. Enjoying a stroll in the park, are we? Nothing quite like a chilly London morning to stimulate the senses. Not to interrupt your little constitutional, but we have confirmation of multiple marks at Grosvenor Square. What are our directives? Rendezvous at the United India House with Igraine and Lafayette and contain the threat. Do you have it in sight? Right in front of me. Good. Assess the situation once there and proceed with caution. Did Nicola provide you with armament? Yes. Essex M2 Falchion. Good. The Falchion's secondary ordnance should help. We may be pursuing Bedlamites, but they remain civilians. Use non-lethal force whenever possible. Understood. Are you joining us? I have a small matter to attend to. I'll find you afterwards. En route now. Galad out. Good day, sir. It befell in the days of Uther Pendragon, when he was king of all England and so reigned that there was a mighty duke in Cornwall that held war against him long time. And the duke was called the Duke of Tintagel. 
And so by means, King Uther sent for this duke, charging him to bring his wife with him, for she was called a fair lady and a passing wise, and her name was called Igraine. So when the duke and his wife were come unto the king, by the means of great lords they were accorded both. The king liked and loved this lady well, and he made them great cheer out of measure, and desired to have lain by her. But she was a passing good woman, and would not assent unto the king. And then she told the duke her husband, and said, I suppose that we were sent for that I should be dishonored. Wherefore, husband, I counsel you, that we depart from hence suddenly, that we may ride all night unto our own castle. I'm on my way down to the street. Acknowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, we kindly request that you proceed as indicated by the officers in charge. <coughs> Negative. Same here. He's probably off somewhere gallivanting. Being, well, himself. I know your concerns, but trust me, he's a good lad. Did you say so? In any case, I have no time to look for him. I'm assigning the last few constables to their posts. Seems to have trouble breathing. Yes, Master. It's clearly the case. Perhaps he needs a glass of water. This man does not need a drink. He has asthma. Are you a doctor, ma'am? I don't know that my father is. I've seen plenty of people struggle with this condition. But why would they not tell us the reason, ma'am? Oh, nice man, Reed. The police are just trying to keep everyone safe. Galahad! See that you cordon off the entire district, and do it quietly. How did you arrive here so quickly? Skill, love. I must admit, you do move fast for a man of your age. And I curse to be reminded of his decrepitude by a fair damsel. My lord, this damsel would never be so callous as to do such a thing. Sure is he. Would you ever? <laughs> Who are the marks? Bedlamites, running amok. Percival thinks it could be a rebel subterfuge. Let's hope you haven't lost your edge. Remember who trained you? He was the best. In his day. Was? You're still pretty good. But I'm better. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Grain, come in. Acknowledge, Percival. Multiple escapees spotted at the east entrance of the United India Underground Station. Intercept with caution. Understood. Come on, Gray. Let's move. They seem better organized and alert to the dangers that lurk in and around this city. Hmm.
never seen this many policemen in the street. What do you think it could be? It's been years since the last incursion into the city. You mean half breeds? Yes. Couldn't be. Not with the knights protecting us. I heard rumors of rebels roaming the streets lately. Maybe it's them. I did hear a policeman mention white German. If you were to ask me, the bloody immigrants need to keep their problems to themselves. Look. Once we're inside, don't let anyone else through. Sure you don't need help, love? Do you mean a strong man to take control of things? That's right. Just stay out of our way. I'd hate for you to get shot by mistake. Trouble. The usual trigger-happy mercenaries. The United India Company prefers its minions enthusiastic. The last thing we need is a band of hired guns causing more havoc. I've told them to remain on lockdown. Let's get to work. Target down. I need to reload. Let's reload. We're clear. Move up. Find some weapons! You two! Get your asses over here! I need help! Come on! Go! Let's go, you bloody bastards! A rifle would be more appropriate. Shit. More SKPs coming from the alley. Some are heading for the atrium. Of the stairs. I swear I'll 
Blast is heading to goddamn back! Damn it! We should move in. They've locked the door. I can hear more commotion inside. Hurry. More bedlamites inside. Stunned. Take the shot. Izzy! Are you alright? Damn it! Oh, God. They're slaughtering them. Ready? Let's get rid of this scum. Smoke grenades. Right. 